Elijah Bronfess Mubore was a successful businessman who was based in South Africa. He owned several shops and employed many fellow Zimbabweans, but his life was cut short by one of his former employees, who was also his nephew he had brought to South Africa. He stabbed him to death in a brutal robbery and fled to Zimbabwe. The suspect's name was Admaya Diko, his nephew who was 28 years old and had worked for him as a shop attendant since August 2020. He fired him for stealing money from his shop and Admaya had no option but to return to Zimbabwe. But he soon came back to South Africa after his pockets ran dry, looking for another job. Unfortunately, things did not go well for him. He could not find another job, so he came up with a plan. He met two other guys who were also struggling with cash and told them how rich his uncle was and he knew the ins and outs of his house and they would be able to rob him. On the night of September 2, 2020, Admaya and his two accomplices broke into Mubure's house in Joburg. They tied him up, assaulted him, demanding money and valuables. Mubure managed to free himself and ran to the gate, hoping to escape. But Admaya was waiting for him with a screwdriver. He then stabbed his uncle several times in the throat, killing him instantly. Zico then fled with two cell phones. 30,000 rand belonging to Mobori, and he crossed the border and returned to Zimbabwe. He thought that he had gotten away with murder, but he was wrong. A relative of Mobori, Bezo Mobori, discovered the crime scene and reported it to the Cleveland police station in Joburg. The police launched a manhunt for Zico because he was the prime suspect. They contacted their counterparts in Zimbabwe and requested their assistance. On the 7th of September 2021, detectives from the Criminal Investigations Department, CID Homicide Harare, received information about Zico's whereabouts. They tracked him down and arrested him at Mashwede service station. They interrogated him and recovered some of the stolen items, including cell phones and part of the money. He also led them to his house in Glenview, where more evidence was found. Zico appeared before Harare Magistrate Court Dennis Mangosi on the 10th of September 2021, charged with murder. He was remanded in custody until the 23rd of September 2021. His case was transferred to the High Court, and High Court Judge Priscilla Mnangati Manongwa found him guilty in connection with the murder. Bonface Mubure in 2020. Zico had denied the allegations arguing that he acted in self-defense, causing his late uncle to accidentally stab himself with a screwdriver in the neck. He was then sentenced to 10 years with three years suspended on good behavior for culpable homicide instead of murder. The murder of Elijah Bonface Mubure shocked and saddened the Zimbabwean community in South Africa and here at home. He was remembered as a hard-working and generous man who helped many people in need. His death also highlighted the dangers and challenges faced by many Zimbabweans living and working in South Africa, where crime and violence are rampant.